Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So we've just had five fuses in. Um, four 4 amps and one 2.5 amps. Um, so this is a, a, a fuse upgrade on the Quad 405. So if you can see here, this is our, our fuses in here. So we've got two on each. So we're going we're gonna to be flipping those out and then we're going to be putting the fuse in that one first. So what I've done is I've already, <clears throat> over here, I've already got some fuses already um, treated with some uh, Pro Gold by Keg. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how to do that. It's very easy. You've seen me in other videos, but if you're new to the channel um, and you want me to show you how it's done, we'll just take it out of the packet there. We mustn't get this one mixed up <clears throat> with those ones. So we're just going to put a bit of the Pro Gold on the contacts. Okay, on both both sides of it. There we go. I'll just leave that to set for a bit. So now what we need to do <clears throat> is to come up here and take the fuse out of here. going to pop that fuse out we're going to take that fuse out of there and we're also going to treat these ends as well here inside of the fuse holder there give it a nice coating of pro gold <clears throat> and also into the inside of the socket there give that a nice coating there Right, okay, now what we're going to do now, <coughs> sorry, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat tonight. <coughs> we're going to um, flip these fuses out of here. So I've got a, uh, a light on my thingy there, so just want to flip those out one. And get it out there. That's it, pop that out. That one and then the other one too. Now what we want to do is we just want to put some pro gold on the contacts of those as well. So <clears throat> it's always good to use this stuff. It just is contact enhancer and it helps to uh, it penetrates into the plating. Both of those there, a little bit more down there. It's very difficult to get to it from that side. Whoops, drop that in there. Very unprofessional of me. All right, okay, so that's that one done. So I'm just gonna <clears throat> get these fuses around here now. But what I want to do is just do take some of the excess of the um, of the uh, the opposite gold off of the the fuse holder there so I'm going to just use a piece of um, kitchen towel yeah okay we're just gonna pat it inside there a little bit just to remove anything that's in there as we don't want loads of it left in there and then we're going to take our fuses here so these fuses have got an arrow on them, right? Now this is just so you know you can keep them all going in the right direction. These are not, these fuses are from China. Now, there's some very expensive fuses out there. I've tested so many fuses, but these, this fuse is, uh, these fuses are really good. And they work out to about £8 each. And uh, very difficult to do this outside of... Uh, That's one. And let's give the ends of these because I've already treated these with the uh, deoxid gold. So I want to get the arrow going in the right way again. I can see. All right. Okay. That's it. Now I know I'm going to get loads of abuse from this video because. Uh, Hey, this is snake oil, isn't it? 
Hey! Yeah, well, some people believe in that, but I don't. I think that fuses can be a, a weak link, and we don't like weak links. So we're going to do the same to this side. We've got to flip out the uh, other fuses there. There's two on the board there again. That's one there. And there's the other one. So some more pro gold on there. A little bit more on this side there again. Right, so we'll put some light on the situation because it's easier to see. It's very difficult. It's very tight, obviously, inside these uh, amplifiers. Although this one's nowhere near as tight as the um, as the Lucid amp, which is down there. So um, I'm doing going to be doing a job on that one. Um, there's a couple of issues with it which I need to address, which I'm going to be doing. And I'll probably just use that one out in the studio. Right, so we've done that now. So we need to just flip these uh, these fuses in again. So I've just got a... Because when you get to my age, your eyesight starts to deteriorate. So we've got to make sure we get it moving in the right direction. So that's the right direction there. So we're going to start off at the back there. Give that a wipe again. No, we don't really want to. There we go. Get that in there, flip that in. Lovely. Same with this one, just check the direction. It's the same. There we go. Right, that's perfect. So all we've got to do now <clears throat> is to fit this one in into our um, fuse holder again. So we just want to give that a wipe inside there to take any excess dioxic gold out. And the same down in the barrel of that. You can use a cotton bud, which is probably a better idea. But <clears throat> now I need to check the... Uh, the arrow on that one as well um, okay so that's going downwards which is correct so we need to push that into there and that into there and screw that down give it a very slight tighten up there we go that's in there while I'm at it I'm just going to put a bit of a uh, pro gold on these uh, on these I uh, um, these um, RCA plugs and on the bananas while I'm here just down the barrel of those just helps to enhance it right okay so that's all the fuses um, all the fuses now changed so like everything else my system is constantly breaking something in so at the moment the uh, speaker cables uh, virtually broken in and I'm gonna do a really nice review video on that because you'll be surprised how good that is um, and this amp is uh, breaking in as well or burning in whatever you want to call it I usually call it a burning um, but now I've added five new fuses it needs more time to settle in as well so we're going to put put this back together again but i just want to show you so here uh the balsa wood feet that i made for it i made a revi revised set and i made them round this time because they were just a bit too big they were they were they were perfect but they were just too big to go into this um For the screws to get in place and what i've done is if you've noticed i've re-sprayed this uh this, this case of this uh of this 405 and i've matched it exactly the same color as my qc24 down there 
you can see that this is exactly the same colour spot on I managed to match it up and all it was was um, was some car paint from Halfords I just took a sample with me and I uh, matched it up really well and I sprayed it and then what I did is I'll give it a, a matte lacquer afterwards because um, with cellulo, um, with metallics, you need to lacquer them really. Otherwise the uh, metallic will wear off too easy and I really wanted a nice finish, which I've achieved, which is very good. Right, we'll just put, put this back together a minute and I'll show it up on its feet. So I had a couple of uh, of um, comments about the uh, speaker cable, which I'm going to address in the video when I review it. Um, all I can say is I'm extremely pleased with the outcome of the speaker cable and and the quality that it sounds. It's uh, it's, it's a big improvement over the six mil that I, I'd produced before, but the six mil was still a very good cable, but uh, it's not a patch on the the new. Uh, the new cable right okay so we've got that flipped over there now and this is the lid that goes on it now so you can see here now I never sprayed the, the heat sink on this which I'm going to probably there's a couple of scratches on there and it's come up so well this has that it looks almost new um, considering it's it's this was made in the uh, in about 1981 I think this this one was there's a, there's a uh, yeah 1981 it was Jan Jan the first 1981 right okay so that's back on there and this is back on there so this this should give me a quite a nice sonic lift when I um once these uh, fuses of of running and I know I know there's the snake oil and all that business but I happen to use all these fuses in all every piece of my equipment and um, you know they, they really have improved the sound you know these are subtle changes don't forget I'm not one of these guys that's going to start you know doing a load of BS and saying it's, it does this and it does that and well, well it won't but what it does do is it just gives you that extra high-end sparkle that we're after. So, there we go. So, put that back on its feet. So, that is the full fuse upgrade. So, I uh, hope you like that. I'm going to plug this back in now and get it running. So, um, I think that's it for this video. So, thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell and I'll put the information to these fuses in the box below so uh, so if anybody's interested in buying them you can um, the 2.5 one I had to uh, message them to get that because it wasn't on their list anyway I think that's it so thanks for watching guys